Hi everybody, welcome to this. Now let us understand the HDL, HCM data loader feature and what are the files that we need to use that feature. Let's look into it. So what I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover about Oracle HCM data loader, about delimiter data file and about integration mapping file. Let's get into this. So what is HCM data loader? Maybe you already know about it, but let us understand this. Oracle HCM data loader is one of the powerful tool of HCM using which you can upload bulk data into Oracle Cloud HCM. Like in Oracle ERP, we have a FBDI feature using which we upload the bulk data. In HCM, we use this tool called HCM Data Loader to upload bulk data. Oracle, using Oracle HDL, we can load business objects like organization, location, new hires, etc, etc, for most Oracle HCM cloud products. So in HCM, there are various products like Oracle Fusion Absence Management, compensation product, maybe we are, we only have a compensation module in HCM and we would like to do some uh, bulk data upload in that compensation. So we can use that feature called HCM data loader. Global human resources, global payroll, performance management, profile management, talent review and succession management, and workforce management. So all those products can be used to upload bulk data in HCM using HDL feature. So Oracle HDL job load data into the business object using a file called delimited data file. Like in FBDI, we use the CSV file, comma separated. Here, the extension of those files will be dot dat delimited data. And these file will have a delimiter as a tab delimiter. So the Oracle HCM data loader requires a zip file. So when you use this feature, we have to create one zip file and the zip file will contain one or multiple dot dat files, each for one business object like organization location. Either you do, you do manual or you do automated way. You need to create a zip file and this zip file will contain the dat files. Okay, now let us understand this delimiter data file. HCM data loader provide a template file. Like for the FBDI, we have the templates. Similarly, for the HCM, we have a template file, which is nothing, which is a DAT file for each supported business object hierarchy that we can download from the HCM itself. Okay, just to look at how the dat file looks like and in which sequence we need to generate the columns. So this template contains a comment line, which is no, which is not of use, but we can ignore it. A comment line, which identifies the business object, its version and the creation date. I will show you how the file looks like. Next is metadata. There may be a multiple metadata lines for the business object hierarchy, a metadata line for each component of the business object hierarchy that you can load for the business object. For example, location. For location, we can upload location, location legislative, location extra information and others. So this met every dat file will have each component related to the business object hierarchy. And whatever we need to load, we can create the dat file for those components only. Okay. Now let's talk about another file called integration mapping that is called NXST. So let's consider this. So when you create a CSV file in Oracle integration, you have to upload one sample file, right? And basis on that sample file, all the, all the fields are exposed in the mapper that you map to create your file. 
how do we create dot that file so to create a dat file we need that nxst file one of the key requirement to load data using oracle date oracle using oracle integration for sdl we need integration mapping file which is nothing which is the nxst file for the relevant business object that again we can download from the hcm itself the nxsd file for the business object can be downloaded from hcm now the file which we download contains lot many attributes which we can load into the hcm but we don't need all the attributes at all when we are creating dot that file depending on the business requirement we can keep only the mandatory and the necessary fields and apart from those fields we can delete all the all the optional fields from the nxst so maybe for the location we have 40 fields but we don't need to upload every 40 fields in that same maybe we only need 20 so we can shorten our nxsd and we can remove the extra 20 columns from that nxsd to make shorten of our nxsd nxsd5 and that is important you have to do this you have to shorten your nxsd before you use the downloaded nxsd in your oracle integration if you will not do this your oracle integration may fail because you will not do the mapping for the rest of the fields which is not required then you may receive an error so you keep only the required fields which is necessary now let me go and let me show you both the files that file and and corresponding nxsd file so here i have downloaded this dat file the first line contain comment data for business object that is for my location the version v2 and created on this date then we have various metadata lines one two three and then four so we have four components for the location the first component is location and you can see all the fields and all the fields are tab separated location id set id set code location image url active status and so on and so forth maybe we don't need every fields to be there in the dat file the second component for location is location extra information and we have the related fields till here and then we have another metadata line for location legislative and other information other fields and then metadata for location other address this is my dat file which we have downloaded now let me go back to uh, another file which is my which is my nxsd file for location so here you see the first element is called location file data which will contain two elements one for location location label location so this location label will be used to map the headers and this will be used to map the corresponding data one set second set for location extra info third set is for legislative and fourth set is for address other address so we have these and you can see every element it starts with metadata hyphen location sorry tab location tab merge tab location tab so two fields you don't need to create in your file that will be created automatically now you see location label so you see the next element is location label so location label have lot many fields you see we have various fields maybe uh almost almost 60 fields so you can see location id label set id label set code label location image url so you see location id label now if i go back to my dat file you see location id set id set code so all are here in your file location id set id 
set code, location image, and so on and so forth. So these are the number of columns that you can load. But when you do this, you don't need to upload each and every columns value. So what you can do, let's say I don't need it. So I can remove this from my file. Okay, similarly, maybe I don't need all those fields. I can remove all those fields. Simple. Okay, but when you are doing this, you have to keep one thing in your mind. So you see, let me control chat. Every element is terminated by this. Tab. NXSD colon terminated by tab. But only the last field, this one, is NXSD terminated by and offline, which represent that will be the end of this particular line. So when make sure, let's suppose this is your last column in your file. So make sure this field X, NXT, NXSD terminated by must be like this. EOL, which even this one. Okay, so you can remove Let's say I don't need all those. I can remove this. This is my label. Similar to this, we have location where I will map the data. So here I will map the headers and in the next one, I will map the locations. So whenever you are doing this for location, make sure this label sequence and this location is exact the same. So you see location ID, location ID, only the label. Okay, that is the only difference. Set ID label and then set ID. So let's say this is my last column in the file, in the label. Similarly, make sure effective start date label. Effective start date label. Effective start date label. It will be somewhere, you see, effective start date label. Let's say remove everything from here as well. And keep only this guy like this. So you have to make sure these location label and location in sync. Similarly, you can make shorten this file for location extra info label and then its corresponding data location extra info. Similarly, for the next element location legislative and then location legislative Okay, and here will be location legislative label. So this is how you use those template and that files in your HCM data loader feature. So guys, that's all about this. Thank you. Bye-bye.